What's going on everyone? It's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to be going over an automation checklist for your Shopify store. So this checklist is going to help you think through different things that you can automate as a Shopify merchant, you are most likely a sole founder or you don't really have many employees. So a lot of the tasks are gonna to come to you, whether you wanna make edits for your shop and you can have a ton of different things pulling you in a ton of different directions. So it's essential you're automating what you can to free up time so you can focus on other tasks. And the more you automate, the more time you have in a day to accomplish the key tasks that need your attention that are gonna generate more revenue and more dollars for your store, which is what you're ultimately looking for. Before I dive into the content, I just wanna quickly thank our sponsor, Profit Calc, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It's going to allow you to skip your spreadsheets and get back to growing your business. Something we've talked about earlier is saving time and that's going to help you do that there. There's a 15-day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself and there's a link in the description below. I'm just going to show a quick video detailing their full feature set. Are you a Shopify business owner who spends hours doing your accounting? Have messy spreadsheets kept you from growing your business? Discover Profit Calc the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. All right, so let's dive into our automation checklist now. We've separated into three different categories, and these are great starting points for your Shopify store. So the first part of the automation checklist is going to be communication. So these are communication aspects you can automate. The first one is going to be email collection. This also could apply to Facebook Messenger collection. You want to make sure you're using apps such as Privy or if your theme has a newsletter pop-up. So you're automatically collecting emails directly into your email communication software. If we take a look at really popular apps such as Privy, there's over 24,000 reviews, make it really easy to automatically collect emails from customers that visit your website. Maybe they're only there for a few seconds to a few minutes, but it allows you to collect those easily and it's gonna integrate into your software. So if you use something like Klaviyo, you can automatically push that into Klaviyo and get those flows rolling. You can start communicating with your customers in a timely manner. It's gonna lead itself into abandoned cart emails. You want to make sure that if a customer adds something to their cart, you've collected their email address, their Facebook Messenger contact details, their WhatsApp details, something along those lines that you're hitting them with reminders to say, hey, you left this in your cart here. This is a step that should definitely be automated as you can set it to run on specific time intervals. So let's say two hours after someone added something to their cart, you can have an email sent out. 24 hours later, you can have another email sent out. 72 hours later, you can have a further email sent out. These are things you don't want to be doing manually. And there are a plethora of apps on the app store that allow you to automate this abandoned cart email sequence. Klaviyo does it for you. And it's one of the earliest things you should be setting up for your Shopify store for creating automation. The next one's gonna be review collections. We all know social proof is key. Showing your customers that, hey, this product is real. Customers like it. Here's what it looks like. So you wanna make sure you're collecting emails. You can also display them for marketing purposes. And you can use apps here. You can use your email marketing software to just send a reminder email after a customer has purchased something to say, hey, did you like the product? What do you think of it? Leave a review here. You could also provide an incentive through a discount. If you simply search review collection in the Shopify app store, there are tons of apps here. And you search reviews, you get the same thing. Apps such as Judge Me, Luke's, and Yopto are huge apps that have been around on the app store for quite a while now. And they all make it really easy to collect reviews and display them on your site. The next one would be email marketing. There are quite a few apps to choose from for email marketing. It's really gonna depend on the pricing plan you're looking for and the exact features. Some of the popular ones are Omnisend, Shopify email is its own thing. It's also free to install. Seguno, Clavio is a big one. Drip is a big one. You also have apps such as MailChimp and Flow.io. All these have free to install plans or there's a free trial available. So I would just take a look through and decide which one you like the UI best, you like the features and the pricing for your store. But the email marketing one is gonna lead itself into the abandoned carts, reviews and email collections. It can all help with that as well. Next, if we go to communication, there's gonna be common questions. So the easiest ways to do that is gonna be with an FAQ center or a help center. We can create pages on your site to answer these questions. There's a, there are common questions here, such as how long does shipping take? When is my order going to arrive? How much does it cost to ship here? How can I cancel my order? How can I return my order? You can put all of these on an FAQ page. That's gonna save you a lot of time answering customer emails. As you're gonna get these questions, you wanna address them right away make it easy for customers to find that information rather than having to ask you and wait for a response. So that app there was FAQ page and help center. There's a free plan available for that one. 
There are quite a few apps here. You can also just simply build your own FAQ page by creating a page in Shopify and just listing out all the items that you think customers may ask. That one's just gonna save you a big headache here in answering really commonly and easy to answer questions. And so it's a huge step for automation for your Shopify store. The next one we'll take a look at is social media. And so there's gonna be two here. The first one's gonna be dynamic remarketing. If you want to set up with Facebook and Google, or if you wanna use TikTok and Pinterest as well, you can create what are called dynamic remarketing feeds where it's gonna show customers the products they viewed on your website. So it's not gonna show a generic ad, but the exact product customers viewed because they're more likely to click on those products and come back and purchase something. Remarketing campaigns typically are your most profitable ones. Setting those up to run, it's gonna greatly increase your revenue, but it's also gonna make it really easy to retarget customers with very little extra effort apart from initially setting up the campaign and managing the budget. The next one's gonna be social media posts. You wanna be scheduling these rather than having to log into those platforms and open them up and post. There are plenty of platforms out there depending on where you're posting. Platforms such as Buffer or Hootsuite, they all offer scheduling. It's gonna depend on the platform if you're using Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok. There are always apps out there to help with scheduling and that's going to speed up your time. And make sure you're posting consistently throughout the day and at the same time rather than having to be alert and post at that exact same time. The next one's going to be shipping. So it's going to be separated into three categories. The return center, automated shipping emails, and the tracking number portal. So start with the return center. Customers are going to typically want to return something. It doesn't matter how many orders you're doing. This is going to come in eventually. There are apps that make it easy for customers to fill out a return form so you can get that process quickly rather than having to go back and forth with the customer about a singular return. So Aftership Returns is a nice app there that's going to make that really easy. You can create branded pages that match your Shopify store. Next one's going to be automated shipping emails and a tracking number portal. Both of these can be accomplished with Aftership as well. It's an extremely popular app on the App Store. It's going to get really easy to send customers emails and different shipping milestones have been reached so a customer can stay alerted on the journey and they're not wondering where their product is. It also lets you create an order tracking page that's going to be branded. So if we take a look at it here, a customer can enter their tracking number and their email and they're going to get information on where their order is. This is going to save you from getting an email from a customer saying, hey, where's my order? You going to the site manually, entering their order number, and then sending them the tracking information. Using an app such as Aftership, it's gonna save you quite a bit of time there and help automate this customer service process. In terms of pricing for Aftership, it's gonna depend on the number of shipments you have. So we can see for 50 shipments a month though, it is completely free. So if you're a newer Shopify store, you should definitely try this app out. Now we don't have any affiliation with Aftership here, even though I have talked quite a bit about it, but it is something I have used in the past and I have enjoyed Aftership as an overall experience. So this concludes the video on the automation checklist. We went through a few things here. So we went through email collection, abandoned cart emails, review collection, email marketing, common questions in your help center. Then we went to social media for dynamic remarketing, social media posts, making sure you're scheduling those. We looked at different shipping. Most of this can be accomplished with Aftership for your return center, automated shipping emails, and your tracking number portal. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below, as that really helps the channel out. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Lastly, I want to mention our sponsor, ProfitCalc. Again, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It comes with a 15-day free trial, so you can test drive everything for yourself. And there's a link in the description below to access that trial. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.